All right, so the next thing you're gonna need to download is the means to get Ubuntu on a USB stick, and you're gonna wanna download this from pendrivelinux.com, link in the description. And make sure you don't click any of the fake download links. Uh, you don't want those. It's this link right here. Uh, maybe I'll even link to it directly, but if I don't, um, it's this right here, download UUI. And that'll download, and you'll run it. And you'll have to agree to this little license agreement thing. Um, just go ahead and click agree, and you'll end up at this screen. Let me go ahead and minimize Firefox here, just so it's more clear what I'm talking about. All right, so you'll see this in this program here. The very first thing you're going to want to do is select your Linux distribution and Ubuntu is conveniently right there at the top. Navigate to where your ISO is located. Mine is on my desktop. Click open and it'll detect that. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and select your flash drive. This is a very very small ISO however I would still recommend having a flash drive of at least two gigabytes or higher and I will also strongly advise for you to format drive E as I have had compatibility issues when not doing that so definitely format it. If you need to move things off the USB stick you know do that and you're going to go ahead and click create and it'll give you this warning and you can just click yes and it will continue on its way. Now while that's going we're going to do a little something else and that is we are going to create the partition Ubuntu is going to be installed in. Now in order to access that we're going to go ahead and search for create and format hard disk partitions all right, and here we are in disk management, and what this is going to allow us to do is make some unallocated space on our hard disk for Ubuntu to go in. So what we're going to do is we're going to partition whatever drive you want to install Ubuntu on. In this video, I'll be using the same drive that Windows is installed on. However, if you have multiple hard drives in your PC, fear not, the procedure is exactly the same, or practically the same. So whatever hard drive you want to install Ubuntu on, just take this same action. So what you're going to do is right-click on the right click on the drive you want to install Ubuntu on, on the volume you want to install Ubuntu on I should say, and go ahead and click shrink volume. Now I should mention that even though I have done this countless times and have never ever had any kind of data loss, it is still advisable for you to make backups of your data just in case something goes wrong. So you'll see here we have this thing that is the enter the amount of space to shrink. Now this is how big you want your Ubuntu volume to be and it is in megabytes. If you need some help converting between that I will link a good megabytes to gigabytes converter for you. I wouldn't recommend using just the default one in Google because it does go in increments of a thousand rather than what Windows uses which is increments of 1024. So if you need to you know convert figure out how big you want your partition to be in megabytes rather than gigabytes I'll link something in the description but I already know how big I want this to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and click shrink. Alright, so now that that is completed you can see we have this unallocated space and yours will be however big you made it. Now we're gonna just leave this alone. Don't format it, don't do anything with it, just leave it. And now, as far as the Windows side, we are done. And if you have not already, hopefully you did before you shrank your volume, but if you have not already, you should definitely go ahead and back up any critical data, just in case something goes awry. Right, so our media is burnt and our partition is made, and now it is time to boot into Ubuntu. Now in order to do that you are going to need to boot from the USB stick. Depending on your BIOS this can be a little bit tricky. Unfortunately I cannot offer specific advice uh, for my BIOS to get into that. It's escape. Um, for yours it might be something different. So just, you know, if you have to reboot a couple times it's okay, but you're looking for something called a boot menu or if not if you don't have one settings you would select your USB stick um, or your CD-ROM you would select whatever media you're using in your BIOS and go ahead and press whatever key it requires so here you have 
two options. You have try Ubuntu without installing or install Ubuntu. I know that I want to install Ubuntu, so I'm just going to go right to that. But if you did want to try it out, you could do that. And also, even before you partition, if you wanted to just get a feel for the operating system, you can boot this up and you don't have to install at all. It will just run from the... What are we angry about? Okay, so you will boot into an environment that will look something like this if you chose to install. If you chose to try Ubuntu, you would boot into the the uh, desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue and we meet these requirements and I am going to do both of these things as you should as well. You will notice that we, it requires at least 6.9 gigabytes of available drive space and an internet connection to install. So check both those and click continue. And you can see here we have this option to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager, and we do want to do that, so go ahead and click install now. And you can see here we'll make these two partitions. You want it to do that, go ahead, click continue, and then it will begin installing. Now, here it's going to ask you for your location, that is correct for me. Here it's going to ask you about your keyboard layout. This is also correct for me. You can change this if you need to, of course. My name, I'm going to put NT4. And I'll go ahead and fill this in. I'm going to select login automatically. You can select whichever one you like. And now you are done. You can just sit back and allow this to install. Uh, I'm not going to film this just because there's really no need. So, I will join you guys back when the installation is finished. Alright, so our installation has finished and we're going to go ahead and restart. Alright, and you can see here we are greeted by the Grub bootloader. Now I'm going to go ahead and first boot into Windows, just to make sure everything is okay on that front. Alright, so you can see that we have successfully booted back into Windows and everything is alright. Now let's go ahead and reboot into Ubuntu. So you can see your Ubuntu is the first option and we'll go ahead and boot that up. And as you can see we can boot into Ubuntu as well. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you have any problems or questions or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment and me or hopefully someone else in the community will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for over 1,500 subscribers. That is amazing. You guys are wonderful. I will see you guys later. NT4 out.